Thompson. And three have a look at the link Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia just a short time ago these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel pyrotechnics ablaze they're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the New York Giants Eagles offense trotting back out here onto the field and Charles want to discuss their week one game against Washington because the Eagles had a 17 to nothing lead at one point in the second quarter and then lost 27 to 17 so a disappointing loss for them in week one a Carson Wentz got sacked eight times and you know you remember the injuries that Philly had last year well they were without a couple of big names on offense in this one as well and that did not help no it did not help but look on the on the outside Alshon Jeffrey that always a loss. Miles Sanders expected to be their lead runner, but you alluded to the eight sacks. Well, this is what happens when Lane Johnson doesn't play at right tackle. When Jason Peters has to move from guard to left tackle the week of the ball game, of course, he was able to revamp his contract, so he was cool with that. But remember, they lost Brandon Brooks in the preseason, their Pro Bowl guard. Very difficult to keep Carson Wentz protected and all those guys are unable to play. I'm curious to see how they bounce back this coming week as they go home to face the Rams. That should be an interesting ball game. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. Number 20. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 39 yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. And some room, and it's a fumble. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Fumble on the play. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And it's well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part at gallop the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Wentz. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. And complete to Zach Ertz. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. 
now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A gain of eight. First down, Philadelphia. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And that's complete to Jeffrey. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Wentz now on first down. And Sanders has got it complete. That catch good for only a couple. Complete to Miles Sanders. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Eight yards to go on second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. It's caught by Jackson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Into the red zone, Wentz. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four at the Giants' 12-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face a third down. To throw is Wentz. Credit the Giants' defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Now Jake Elliott, earlier in his career, he beat these Giants with a 61-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give them confidence and let them knock it through. taken about a yard deep and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result and he opted for the touchback so the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive and on the first drive three and out and I know that these are professional athletes but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still don't you those don't ever go away and typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready. Looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he'll get this back. 
to the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. Now Wentz. It's brought in by Jeffrey. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 brings up third and four. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. And Eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. <laughs> On play action, Wentz. He'll buy some time right. He'll run it. He's got the first down inside the 10. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. with Sanders and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage the ball carrier they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal no gain on the play. he shows you right there he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position yeah the evolution of the position has really been significant hasn't it because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety strong safety designation they just have safeties so wherever in trouble and he'll go down back at the 12. Sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz on target to Jalen Rager. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. The score, Eagles 10, Giants nothing. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. From the gun, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton. Darius Slayton, 59 yards. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it just happens so quickly. And really it will get set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. They'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead third and seven ten seven our score after one right here on ea sports ten giant seven The Eagles on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing his wins. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards there and an Eagle first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result... We'll call this play significant. On first down, it's Sanders pushing forward for three up to the 48. Tackle made at his 48-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing now is Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And 
they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. A first down there on a pickup of 25. At the 26-yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. The throw over the middle taken in. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Jalen Riker. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 22-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Wentz going to throw. He'll hit Jackson complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit. And Got a man open. It hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles add on to their lead. He got a figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. It's good to make it 17-7. It is good. Makes the score Eagles 17. Giants 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York set to take the field. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Now Jones finds his tight end Ingram. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Only needing two yards on second down. Barkley, toss play left. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Operating from the gun. Jones and Ingram holds it in and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. And the Giants. We often hear the phrase sure handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Open receiver, that's Caden Smith, the tight end. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball and keep them moving. 
How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. From the 40 now on second down, Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. Jones, a gain of four on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, Jones. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Three-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away fields it in the middle of the end zone and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look and that last drive a long drive but not just that they had a great air attack going do they stick with that I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, Everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. David Mayo brought him down. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders, and that play went nowhere. 
Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. It's a second down run with Sanders. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now Wentz on third down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. The Eagles on third down. They've been excellent, six for seven. This is third and 11. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Cameron now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. On fourth down, Johnson out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Jones throwing on first down. He's got his man. This is Tate. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. New York. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That catch good for only a couple. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. From the 22, here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. He completes it to Tate. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Golden Tate. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They had the 
catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. New York. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. So the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Thus far, they've been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot down field didn't get it on that one but they may come back to it again after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten to throw again Jones and that is incomplete so 17 seconds now on the clock here and I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game he's had his way so far but on that last one that worked quite well for the defense this offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, Jones. Caught right side, Tate. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It's now fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 56 yards out. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now Jones. From the gun on third down. Got a man, Slayton. Jones, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, 
find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Off play action. Jones. He sets to fire deep. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Miles Sanders, the ball That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. They'll go again with Sanders. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. I'm ready to take over, baby. Stay. Another run with Sanders. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. 52 is the mic. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. Working from the gun, Wentz. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it, but it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop him before he could get to the marker. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Now out come the Giants. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Five yards remain on second down. Operating from the gun. Jones. That's complete to Slayton. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. And the Giants football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Barkley. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Ball carrier. 
Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down and five. From the gun, Jones over the middle complete. That's Tate. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Giants. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A handoff to Barkley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run with Barkley. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He's brought, brought down, down by Nate Gary. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. On second down, here's Barkley. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. The giant ball carrier. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 19. 17 yards and a giant first down. First down. Well, it's really no secret if you've got Saquon Barkley on your roster as an offensive play caller, you're going to be creative to find ways to get him to football. He was a little bit dinged up last year, so he only had 52 catches. But that catch and first down we just saw there, expect more of that this season because remember in his rookie year, he had 91 catches. And anytime he's got the ball in his hands, he's a threat to go the distance. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Jones. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. No gain at all on the play there, and that brings up four. Out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. Field goal, a 31-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Taken in at the three. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Scott, Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Blake Martinez, second in the league in tackles last year, gets another there. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And of the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. From the gun, it's Wins. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it's going to be second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Now wins. That's caught by Jackson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 36. 11 yards there, first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go back to the ground with Sanders. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the 29, Wentz. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Wentz. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chain. The 22-yard line. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. 13. Here's second and 10. Now Wentz again. That he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Brings up a third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? He's going to flip one out here to his running back. 
And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do and kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A short throw to Ingram. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Throwing Jones. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So that one will be accepted. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with it. They've got his man complete! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 34. As we've seen over the years, offensive coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover, put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. 
They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. It's a game Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one a first down pickup of eight. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another? And especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop it. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, well, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they, and this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz on target to Jalen Rager. And the Eagles had six to their lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that out. <laughs> you know, I'll just grab a nugget when I can. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And New York set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's something like, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. That catch good for only a couple. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Jones. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards there. First down. The fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this. So a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Three yards the gain there. Second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. Jones pass. Intercepted. The Eagles take over first and 10. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. 
And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise with the holes not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Sanders, the ball on any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Got a man open. It's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Eagles 34. Giants 38. Jake Elliott. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll bring up a second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better? Better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones to Barkley on the check down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes, but now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. From the gun on third down, Jones steps away to his left. 
He can run for it, and he will. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. This ball complete. Jones to Ingram. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the gun, Jones. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should. He's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley there to make the grab. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. <laughs> On first down, it's Sanders. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. 
As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.